But you go back 100 years and we didn't have the capabilities to destroy ourselves. Now we could. We could choose to destroy our civilization. So it may be that those challenges are very difficult to navigate. It may be just kind of one of those, not quite a law of nature, but a law of societies that they're just not able to navigate the challenges that industrialization and the development in nuclear science and so on raise. We haven't passed that test yet. So, you know, there's a name for it. It's called the Great Filter. So one of the arguments, so, so what we're asking here is, is there a filter that, let's say the filter's in our past. So let's say that it's just a difficult thing is for, is for life to go from single cell life to multicellular life. And that does look difficult, by the way, as far as we can tell on Earth. So maybe that's a filter. Maybe it just doesn't happen very much. So there are microbes everywhere and nothing very complex. Then we'd be happy, right? Because we've gone through the filter. But it could be the filter is our future. It could be that it's now that you get this capability to affect your planet or destroy yourselves through war or whatever it is. That's a filter and we're approaching it. And it could be we don't pass through it. And that would also be a solution to the Fernpath.